Thank you for tuning in to this coverage of the 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. This is our first semifinal match, and in this matchup, we have Jason Beerling, currently ranked 13th in the National Crokinole Association. Up against him is Josh Carfiello, currently ranked 4th. I believe this is the first time these two players have faced off on camera, so enjoy this exclusive Crokinole coverage. This is a race to nine. The player that wins this game will move on to the finals match. Carfiello will shoot first and comes up uncharacteristically short. Beerling now looks like he was trying to block that laneway, but leaves an opportunity for Josh here to roll in. And Josh, very close, doesn't quite convert on the 20. Beerling looks like he was trying to capitalize on a 20 of his own, also just barely misses. And Carfiello again going for that follow through, rolls to the far side of the board. Beerling content to keep play on the outside, and Carfiello peels to get play back to the center. Jason now comes up short, a very tough but possible drop back opportunity here. And Carfiello just lips out but leaves his disc nicely posted. Beerling gets a nice tap, not leaving any 20 chance here for Carfiello. And Beerling, yes, just plays to the outside. Carfiello takes a second to the consider, but I believe he will have to roll away here. You'll be hoping for a mistake out of Beerling, and Beerling does not give it, getting a beautiful follow through 20. This round is all but sealed, even with that 20 from Carfiello. Beerling just needs a valid shot and takes the first two points of this game. We see a replay of this very nice follow through hit by Beerling, the deciding shot of this round. Into round two now, Beerling with the open 20. Carfiello now to follow suit. Players have now found their range. As we've seen, both these players are very proficient 20 shooters. If it be open 20s or other shots, be who messes up first, which is Carfiello. A little bit strong, lipping out. Backboard opportunity here for Jason. Gets a little bit of a touch 20. No off, but he is now up two in the 20s cup. Carfiello, considering his options. Oh, looks like he was trying to tap his own up, but caught a post. Beerling with another touch, getting the off on this one. A very dominant lead in the second round. Carfiello back on his 20s, but Beerling in a very strong position. Carfiello looks like he's trying to hide, but Beerling able to catch it. Losing his shooter, but Carfiello needs to score his next two and get a mistake out of Beerling. Oh, and the opportunity is there. Carfiello can get a follow through. He can at least tie this second round. And not quite. A little bit sticky on his shot. We see a few of these nice touch 20s that gave Beerling a very strong lead partway through this round. Beauty shot. We go into the third round now. Carfiello to open. And going long yet again. Again, very uncharacteristic. Carfiello is considered to be one of the strongest 20s shooters. Oh, very nice shot from Carfiello making up for that early mistake. And Beerling now to mess up on the open 20. Leaving it short. Carfiello in decent position right now. Up a 20. So long as he can not leave opportunities like that, maybe a follow through chance here for Beerling. Oh, and you saw it. It went in, but the red disc interfered, bumping it back out. Carfiello now with two discs on the outside. I don't think that's what Beerling wanted. I don't know if he was trying to roll in or have that red disc go and catch the second one, but 
Alas, that mistake forces him to roll again. Carfielo is now up two 20s, leaving a backboard here for Beerling, which he converts on. He needs a mistake out of Carfielo on this last shot, which he does not give. And Carfielo will take his first points of this game, bringing the score to 4-2. to two. We see this very nice shot here. A little bit of angle, a little bit of follow through. We also see this nice backboard, which almost got Beerling back into the match. Into round four now. Players now onto their 20s. We will see if Carfielo has found his range, which he has. Something I would be curious to see. I've been trying the consecutive 20s challenge, and I would like to see these top players go for it. I think I've heard an unofficial record from Connor Reinman, but to see just how many they could shoot in a row be quite interesting. Carfiello the first to come up short. Beerling very comfortable right now being up a 20. Will be looking to block those laneways as to not give Carfiello an easy shot and what a beautiful roll away from Beerling. Carfiello trying to bring play back in the middle. Beerling very much what I thought on the defense, but now leaves a potential touch angle in opportunity here for Carfiello, which he converts on. We are down to a two-shot game. Beerling lips out a little bit strong, bouncing back on him. Carfiello, considering his options, he does have hammer, so he could roll away, but instead opts for the 20. Very nice shot. Now all he needs is that takeoff, and he wins this round. There we go. Carfiello is now back in this game, tying the score up 4-4. Four to four. We see a few of these very nice touch 20s this here again. Very nice shot. Carfiello to open in this fifth round. Players back and forth now. It's very intense in those initials 20s races, especially when you're up against players who can potentially go the entire eight discs. So you've got to be on with your 20s in these top rounds. Beerling getting a very nice hit on that hide. Carfiello in a bit of a hole right now, but a very nice double. Beerling does have hammer, so he's very content to play on the far side of the board as long as he can keep his discs on. And Josh isn't able to score 20 here. He's in a very good position. And as I eat my words, Carfiello scores a beautiful angle in. And Beerling comes up short. Carfiello now up at 20. Running out of shots here. Beerling will need a follow through. And he gets it. Oh, wow. Carfiello will need to score an open 20 to keep the pressure on Jason Unfortunately, goes long. Beerling just needs the off, and he will take this fifth round, bringing the score to 6-4. See this very nice offensive play from Carfiello, clearing the board and then angling in. Alas, Beerling hit that very nice follow-through, giving him the round. Into round six now, Beerling opens up with an open 20. Carfiello a little bit to the left on his shot. Beerling with another. He's just been on those follow-through 20s. People new to the game might be seeing those shots thinking, huh, that looks relatively simple. To them, I would say sit down at the board, place the disc in front of you, in front of the 20 hole, and just try to go for that shot. You'll see it's very tough, and you see how consistently Jason hits those here. And then you'll understand just how skilled of a player Jason Beerling is. Up in the 20s cup. But Carfiello does have hammer. And Beerling with another 20. Solidifying his lead. Carfiello coming up short. Beerling will be more than content, I would believe, to play defense now. 
Oh, a little bit strong on that roll away, losing his shooter, giving Carfiello an opportunity to score a 20 here. Coming up short though. Merling looked like he might have been going for that drop back 20 or maybe a roll away, but oh, Carfiello again. Players now with play so close to the center. <laughs> Both of them very tempted to go for it, but that was the last shot, so Carfiello was unable to make up the difference. Up by 120, Beerling takes this round yet again, bringing the score 8 to 4. He is one round away from moving on to the finals. He would also be content with a tie. In a tie, each player gets one point, bringing Jason to the goalpost of nine points. Needless to say, the pressure is on Carfiello to win the next three rounds to move on. Carfiello up a 20 and with a backboard opportunity now. Able to convert. Very nice. Now up two in the cup. Mierling does have hammer, which doesn't mean much without with that difference in 20s, which Carfiello is just burying him in. See if Carfiello keeps going for it. Oh, he did fight for it. Not super risky at this point with the lead that he has. Now with play on the outside. I'm not sure there's a lot of opportunity for Beerling to bring play back to the middle. Oh, there was a little bit of a laneway, but goes long. And Carfiello content to keep play on the back side of the board. Beerling now knowing that he's out of the round with how many shots he has left, just opts to practice those open 20s. New players might be curious why he's taking those last few shots. Again, he had two shots left. Carfiello had three 20s on him. He wasn't going to get back in. He may as well take a few shots to practice his open 20s to get back into these next few rounds. The score is now 8-6. to six. That practice paid off for Beerling as he scores that initial 20. Carfiello returns yet again. And Beerling just a little bit short. Carfiello punishing him for that mistake. Now up in the 20s cup with the hammer advantage. And it looks like Carfiello is now officially on with those 20s. Beerling as well, but he needs a mistake out of Carfiello at this point. Going back and forth, but Carfiello is unrelenting. And Beerling first to make a mistake going long and Carfiello is content to play on the further side of the board. Beerling rolls out. Unfortunate. And it looks like Carfiello will be taking this final round. Not final. My apologies. He has now just tied up the score 8-8. Eight to eight. What an amazing comeback from Josh here. Now both players in contention to move on to the finals round unless this round is a tie. One of these players will be moving on to the finals match. Beerling the first to miss on an open 20. Carfiello, not sure if he was looking to roll away on the outside, but probably content. Oh, Jason, almost with a catch of the peg, gets a 20 of his own. But no conversion. And Beerling will be fighting for a 20 here. He's down by 120 right now. He needs something. Carfiello taking more time. He knows what this round means now. Be looking either for a 20 or to get away. Oh, and just lips out on the right side of the hole, though. Beerling unable to get the follow through on this shot. Now this looks like a nice touch 20 opportunity here for Carfiello. Oh, he gets you off, but... No dice on the 20. Beerling with the off in the 20, bringing this to a three-shot game. Pressure on the players now. Carfiello with his 20. And oh, Beerling goes long. Carfiello can all but seal this if he scores another 20, which he does. And with that, this semi-final match is all but done. With this final shot, Josh Carfiello 
will officially be declared the winner of this semifinal match. This was a fun, close, and exciting match. Josh Carfalo is your winner and will be moving on to the final round to go up against the winner of the other semifinal match. So tune in Thursday, August 8th to see the semifinal round between Connor Ryman, currently ranked first, versus Andrew Hutchinson, currently ranked third in the National Crokinole Association. Thank you for tuning in to this Crokinole coverage. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more 2024 Turtle Island Crokinole action. Make it a great day.